My name is Jeanette Witten and I am a faculty member at the University of British Columbia in the Department of Botany and I'm also the director of the UBC Herbarium in the Beattie Biodiversity Museum. We're near the summit of Mount Thine or Mount Tyne, about 40 kilometers southeast of Merritt. So we're here with a group of people from the UBC Herbarium and the UBC Botanical Garden and we're collecting plants for the herbarium and also for the Botanic Garden. So what we're doing up here is trying to get a sampling of native BC plants um, for our collections. What that means is that when we come up to a, a plant, we'll want to take, um, we'll want to dig down and take the roots. We'll want to make sure that we get intact flowers. And if there's fruit or seeds, we'll want to get that as well, because all of those parts might be important for a researcher studying the plant or also for identifying different species. You actually use different plant parts. Um, and then the only other thing that we really consider is trying to get enough material so that we can spare some. If there's only one flower and you need to rip it apart to identify it, then you'll basically ruin the specimen and that then the specimen isn't very useful to anyone. So we want to get multiples of every part. We want to try to lay them out so that, um, so that they're oriented in a way that's uh, useful for the researchers. And we also like to get nice green leaves because you can isolate DNA from green leaves. Um, and that's always an added bonus when we can have that kind of material available for future studies. We use this information to put dots on maps, basically to document where it is that different species occur across the landscape. This is a kind of activity that herbaria and botanical researchers have done for centuries, and it's essentially how we know about the flora of our province and of the, of the world, really.